In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install a catfish loop onto a bowstring. In a different video I showed how to tie the catfish loop. To install it on the string, in this version we're going to install it below the knock set. And to begin with I'm going to put a little bit of bowstring wax on the loose loops and grind that in really well. This is going to help those loose loops stick together a little bit better, make them easier to work with, and it will also help it cinch down on the bowstring a little bit better. Once we've got the wax embedded in the loops, we're going to fold it in half and match those loose ends up into one big loop. Place the served end around the string and push it right through the loose loops, making sure to get all of them around it. Pull it through. So you get it through a little ways. You take a small screwdriver, put it through the loop, pull it tight. Miss a little part of the loop there. Get it cinched down. Pull it nice and tight push it up against the knock set. Now that it's installed it can rotate freely about the string. Also when the release is on there, the release can be twisted anyway and not apply any torque to the string. Last thing to do to finish this off is just to tie in a little bit of serving thread right here to prevent it from moving up and down and it's ready to shoot. This time to install the catfish loop, we're going to install it more like a standard D loop. We're going to start the same way. Put a little bit of bowstring wax on the loose loops. Work that into it while lining up the loops at the same time. To install the loop this way, we actually need to remove the string from the bow. And squash down the bowstring loop just a little bit, make it easier to put through here. Set that aside. What I'm going to do with the catfish loop is take the loose ends, fold it back over the served end, like that. And grab it with some pliers. Pull it through. Now there's a new little hole that we created, and this is where the bowstring is going to go through. So place the bowstring through there. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Pull it through, make our hole. Place that over the bowstring. Now that both sides are on the bowstring, we can move it up to where the knock set is, work it over the knock set, get it into position, move the loose strings down a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is put the bowstring back on the bow. Tension back on there. I can take pliers or a screwdriver or something. Pull that tight, making sure all the strings wrap down around it.
there we go. Just like a normal V loop, we'll rotate around the string.